Robin. I was recently talking to Jim Quick and we were talking about reading and he says to me, John, the only thing that's different between someone who's illiterate and someone who's not is that they actually read books. And it's so funny because I find so few people today are reading. And you have this great segment here. You write that it's the human who reads the most books who wins. Can you explain that? Well, education is inoculation against disruption. Maybe I should mention that again, because I think it's so important for all of us to remember in this age of entertainment and so many of us scrolling, watching videos that really don't enrich our lives. Education is inoculation against disruption. And I really do believe that the leader who learns the most wins. There's an acronym that I think is very powerful, which is BABEL, B-A-B-L-E, Book Accumulation Beyond Lifetime Expectancy. And I think, John, I'm sure you buy more books than you'll ever read in your lifetime, and I hope you have a long lifetime. And I sure am someone as well who can't leave a bookstore without buying five or 10 books. And I think that's a wonderful affliction to buy more books than you'll ever read in your lifetime. Because when you buy a book, I think you're buying a promise. And you're buying the promise of an idea being in the book that you buy that will allow you to see the world through a new set of eyes. When you buy a book, if it's the right book, you could read a sentence that so lights you up. The hand that puts down the book is a fundamentally different hand. And when I mentor the billionaires and celebrity CEOs and the moguls, these people all have one thing in common. They buy more books than they'll ever read. They invest in their personal growth and professional mastery. And they spend time most evenings reading and they have libraries. What a concept to build a beautiful library that has psychology books and communication books and leadership books and history books. Bonus point, Mark Twain said, History doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. And Winston Churchill said, to paraphrase, the best way to predict the future is to understand history in the past. And so I really do believe get a GCA, a gargantuan competitive advantage when you fall in love with reading in this world where a lot of people don't read anymore. And last thing I'd say on that is the marketplace rewards magic rendered. The marketplace, this is key for entrepreneurs, the marketplace rewards value that you put and magic that you put into the marketplace. And by enriching your knowledge base and your wisdom and your acumen and your mastery through reading and audiobooks and audio courses and online courses and going to live events, you develop a gargantuan competitive advantage where most People are card-carrying members of the cult of mediocrity. Most people don't really know that much about the work that they do. Most people are not on a pursuit to being BIW best in world at their craft. By the way, in the wealth money can't buy, the fourth form of wealth is craft. Seeing your job as your craft and pursuing mastery is a currency money can't buy. And so part of the way you get there is through outlearning everyone around you. 